today we are doing a shorter unboxing video how amazing is that and how long it has been since i have ordered something from them i really like this company oh it seems like they have two packages here so uh, they are always having great great orchids and i am super excited to see what it is inside i made a common order with a friend uh, here in Romania from another city and um, yeah we are uh, super excited to see what uh, we are going to get in here because these are supposed to be amazing plants and usually from this company I do get really really nice plants so yeah one of the packages uh, should be with some um, taking uh, stuff so one of the packages should be with orchids and the other one with uh, some uh, accessories so we will see in a moment which one is which I believe this one is with the orchids I believe this one is the one that I was most excited to receive. No, it's the other way around. So, okay. I will start with this. I have ordered one basket for myself. This, uh, wait. This is supposed to be for this uh, Stanhopia orchid, which I have recently bought from... Um, uh, orchids and more. I bought a basket because usually uh, Stanhope orchids push up their spikes uh, through the bottom of the pot and uh, I needed a bigger one because this orchid will grow very very nicely. Now because she is rootless I put her in a green moss in a normal pot and when uh, she will get properly root rooted I will put more moss around and put her in this basket. My cat is just waking up and my friend uh, also got two of these, they are really really sturdy ones and uh, I really love that they have this um, uh, margin uh, so you can actually hang the orchid and here I took for myself some very very good quality bark this will uh, be used for one of my pandas I know that recently I have uh, bought some bark from uh, a Romanian seller here in, um, the, in uh, Romania but um, I don't really like that bark for uh, Vandas because it is uh, really really small so this has huge huge pieces Actually, I will open it up and I will show to you so I got just a little bit for uh, that Vanda that I want to put in the back So here it is, we can see that is very very chunky bark and I will actually order some more in the future because I absolutely love this bark, it is very very big. Because Vanda roots uh, do like some moisture but they also like um, ventilation, so yeah. And cutting, very love, yep, she is not stable in that spot, now I don't know which side is with or should be the top so yeah I will do what I can Usually we uh, receive uh, orchids from Schwerter in a different type of package, but I guess this time uh, they change it. 
yeah this orchid uh, we paid together because we are planning to divide it when uh, it will be possible i don't think she is yet uh, the size to be divided because uh, it is supposed to be a uh, seedling and it's looking really really nice the leaves are perfect which uh, is a rare sight for one of these orchids she is um, or the leaf it's a bit uh, damaged in here because it was bent and here i see a bulb or not no um it was just happy sap um so as i was saying this orchid is a, a young orchid but it is a gorgeous gorgeous one this is a zygonesia murasaki komadu so yeah I will uh, keep it and care for it and when it will be big enough I will send a division to my friend Alright then And here it is, it does have a live root This will go into semi-hydro because uh, This is charcoal by the way, I know it's very very good for orchids And um, yeah, I have a pretty good sized uh, new growth in here which is about to get matured and I think in about one or two years this orchid will be ready to be divided the roots seem to be quite stiff here I have a root tip I hope you can see that so I am really satisfied with that orchid and, um, and checking for my this is it this is the only orchid which I have actually purchased for myself so I will tell you in a moment what it is I had this one in the past but um it was a rather small division and when I have seen that they have brought a big one uh, they said it is in a 14 centimeter spot I decided to sell my old one and I bought uh, another one as you can see in here and uh, indeed it's uh, quite healthy guys it's looking really really good uh, my other one oopsie I have a leaf uh, which uh, is damaged in here but I guess that is okay uh, <laughs> you can't really buy orchids and uh, expect uh, everything to be perfect so one leaf which is bent it is okay so what is uh, this orchid guys this is the LC or Katle Siamis Doll Kiwi. I have an ID video for this orchid and I will put you a link uh, in the description and in the comment section below. This is an amazing orchid and it smells gorgeous. Okay, I'm trying to put the tag in here back. And uh, it's quite an interesting pot I'm trying to show to you. It has some... Uh, I think the orchid is potted in uh, moss I do have quite a lot of uh, green roots and I have a new growth which uh, is not yet fully mature but I don't think uh, it um, does have a sheet because I remember this orchid does produce uh, quite big sheets anyway I do have uh, green uh, root tips in here so this orchid will get repotted pretty pretty soon I'm so happy to have uh, a bigger uh, version of this so I, as uh, I was saying my older uh, orchid uh, used to produce much taller suitables and I can see this orchid never bloomed before so maybe this one or the next one I think this orchid does have two directions of growth which is uh, quite amazing but I also might have uh, two plants in here, we will see in a moment when I will report it and the other orchids guys are just for my friend so yeah she got a Catacetum tenebrosum 
which is this one. It is supposed to be a seedling, which I think it is because it's quite a small one. This orchid uh, can uh, actually be still dormant, so we will see in a moment. Oh my god, the growth is quite spotty. I think it might have mites. So I will put this orchid separate. Or it is from Happy Step, one of the two versions. It is spotted in a 5 cm spot, so as I was saying, it is a very very young orchid, but uh, she bought it that way, it was advertised to be that way. And here it is, it's so tiny and cute, but um, I think it has mites, because we can see on the underside of the leaves, uh, it does have a um, whitish uh, or um, silvery markings. So yeah, this orchid needs to be sprayed pretty pretty soon with a mite side. Yeah, but uh, it is okay. It is healthy. It has uh, two little suitor bulbs in the back and uh, a pretty new growth in here. I will put this one separate. Uh, Chicknodis uh, Wine Delight. This is a lovely, lovely orchid. I really want to have uh, this uh, orchid as well because um, the blooms are very beautiful, are uh, kind of a uh, reddish uh, chair like. And the fragrance I heard is uh, quite interesting as well, but not for everyone. So. So it has a quite big new growth, but I see some markings in here, so let's completely unwrap it. So right guys, so uh, this uh, orchid does look uh, quite good. It is uh, potted in moss, it has a ton of roots, and um, yeah. Uh, here we have a lot of happy sap on the leaves, they are a bit bent, but that is okay. Uh, and uh, the new growth is uh, quite large, guys. I see something in here. Anyway, um, so I was saying I'm a bit worried by this marking in here, but I think it is from the sheets. So I will try to peel it off. Yeah, it is from the dried sheets from before. So, this is the Chicknotis uh, Wine Delight. It looks uh, really, really well, in my opinion. I hope my friend will be satisfied with this too. I will put the tag back and put aside the orchid. And the last one. It is a Chicknotis Taiwan Gold Orange. This is another orchid that I really want to have. So I think in the future I will have to work something out with my friend and she will, or if she will want to, I will ask her for a division. Maybe we will do some um, swaps, we will see. This one looks really well so far. And here it is. It's so funny how this uh, back suit bulbs look like. Really, really nice. Also, a ton of fruits, very healthy one. The new growth is quite large. Very, very pretty. 
it is normal for the leaves to uh, arrive a bit banded because uh, as I was saying um, these orchids produce a ton of happy sap so uh, yeah they uh, they do get uh, this um, kind of uh, spots if uh, you don't rinse them now I am super sticky on my hand Maybe in the future she will want to give me a bag bulb from this. I will ask her. Anyway, they are amazing plants and I am so happy with uh, my order. I will go now and pack her orchids. Or I will see when she wants me to ship them. And uh, yeah, if you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and see you all next time. Bye!